Advancements in virtual radio access network technology could be a game changer for 5G, helping to improve the economics and TCO value proposition for telcos. But is VRAN technology sufficiently mature for scaling and performance? Well, joining me to discuss the impact of VRAN in the APAC region are Anil Bandari, Vice President of Product Management at Altio Star, and Ben Panic, Senior Director, Telco Sales Vertical APAC at Red Hat. Welcome, both of you. Thanks for joining us on the program. Thanks, Kay, for having us here. Thank you, Guy. Good to be here. Anil, I'm keen to hear about Altio Star's work on VRAN and the use cases you're seeing. But first, I'd like to ask Ben about how Red Hat is working with Altio Star in APAC. So if you could tell us briefly about your collaboration in VRAN. So we've been collaborating and working together for a number of years now from an engineering perspective and also out in the field with our customers. And of course, you would have heard about Rakuten and the successful deployment that along with Altio Star and Cisco and Red Hat, we've put into market with Rakuten, the world's first VRAN in production. It's been a great success so far and we continue to collaborate with Altio Star and build our partnership and engage with other customers across the region and the globe. Anil, Ben mentioned Rakuten. Are there any other major telcos in APAC that are currently using or trialing Altio Star's products? So, Guy, we are working with uh, many tier one operators uh, in APAC region. Um, I can talk about Airtel. Uh, with Airtel, we are working on uh, macro FDD, TDD, as well as small cell FDD, TDD. And we also have a collaboration ongoing with Airtel for Massive MIMO. Uh, apart from Airtel, the other one which is publicly announced is uh, Eti Salat. Uh, they are a big tier one uh, operator in Middle East. Uh, so we, we have done a trial with them uh, for our VRAN solution and the results have been very good. Ben, how is VRAN a game changer, especially as we move to 5G networks? Well, I think VRAN is a really exciting opportunity for our customers. Traditionally, the RAN has been dominated by the usual large network equipment providers. And now we see companies like Altiostar coming in and disrupting the marketplace and giving customers the opportunity to have a different choice. And I think that's exciting for customers as they make the transition from 4G to 5G. VRAN is the first workload that we're seeing move out into the edge. And I think that's only going to accelerate as customers build out their edge platforms. Anil, do you see Altio Star's technology as being a game changer? And how are your solutions different to what other vendors provide? So, uh, uh, Guy, definitely we, we see Altio Star uh, technology is a, is a game changer. Um, the kind of innovation that we have done um, in our solution. So, so if you look at Altio Star solution, first of all, we have done uh, disaggregation of the entire uh, RAN stack. So we have disaggregated this into VCU, VDU, and RRU, and we are using open interfaces between all these network functions, which gives operator tremendous choice in terms of uh, procurement. And the second aspect is that with the virtualization of CU and DU, operators can now realize various use cases flexibly. So if they want to uh, realize a new use case, slicing use case, they can do so uh, through automation framework uh, without having to, let's say, change the hardware. So, so essentially what I'm trying to highlight is that the kind of flexibility that we are bringing on table along with openness that is unprecedented. Uh, that is something that is not available from the traditional uh, RAN solutions that are there in the market today. And then on top of that, uh, the automation that we have done uh, with our solution that helps operators bring down the TCO significantly. Ben, what do you see as the market opportunity for VRAN? Well, the, the opportunity is, is twofold. You know, one, there's the technology side. So as Anil mentioned, you know, the disaggregation and the choice in technology that is available for operators now. 
that hasn't been there in the past. Yeah, they've had vertical solutions from you know one of the large network equipment providers. So now that they have more control um, over their destiny, they have more choice. And then if you look at the economics behind it, you know if you look at the spend uh, that operators are going to make, it's you know in excess of five hundred and fifty billion dollars in mobile capex, and more than half of that is in the RAN side. You know, an ACG research has just released some VRAN findings and they're talking about savings uh, in excess of 44% by deploying VRAN. So I think the choice and the commercials are driving customers, most of the customers that I'm engaging with across the whole of the Asia Pacific region have VRAN initiatives. They're investigating the technology, they're looking at the business cases and they're all accelerating as they look to make choices and deploying their networks as they move towards 5G. Anil, VRAN is a relatively young technology and the RAN represents a major investment area for telcos. So is VRAN technology mature enough for the scaling and performance needs of telcos? Uh, de definitely, Guy. Yeah. Where we are today, um, I mean, Rakuten is a very good example uh, where uh, our solution is deployed in, uh, you know, one of the most demanding country in the world, which is Japan. And that too in, uh, you know, highly dense uh, urban areas like Tokyo. So, uh, and, 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 and we have deployed at scale. There are thousands of sites that are operational right now. Uh, also, if you see in terms of um, uh, various uh, studies that have been carried out for Rakuten deployment, there are reports that are available from OpenSignal and so on. And uh, these uh, indicate that the performance of the network is very good compared to the other operators uh, in Japan. So um, we, we believe that uh, the VRAN the, the, uh, solution, uh, VRAN technology is pretty mature now. And specifically talk, talking about Altio Star, I mean, we have, we have invested heavily in QA uh, to make, make sure that the solution that we are giving to our customers, uh, it's a highly stable solution and feature rich. Ben, can we talk more about some of the considerations that operators are taking into account when they investigate VRAN and, and what are the associated dependencies um, or barriers to adoption? Some of the things that the operators are considering in a lot of detail, you know, one specifically is the platform. If you look at virtualization and some of the virtualization that has been placed into the operators' networks over the last three to five years, a lot of it has been relatively siloed in vertical stacks, depending on the application. As operators now look into VRAN and investigate that, I think there's the realization that they're going to need a platform that spans the core edge and far edge, depending on how they're going to roll out VRAN. So I think it's critically important that as they do these investigations, as they go through their business cases and their proof of concepts and their technology evaluations, that they begin to look at the platform and begin to look at the platform, especially out into the edge, because that's where we're going to see customers be able to monetize the network. And I think that's something that's really interesting and a unique opportunity that we didn't see in 3G to 4G. But as we move from 4G to 5G, we will see customers have the opportunity to monetize the edge. Now, they're only going to have that opportunity if they've got an open platform, a platform that has a vast ecosystem of partners available to them so they can get out to the business markets and consumer markets and deliver new services to those markets. Further than that, I think one of the other areas that's probably overlooked is the operationalization of the 5G network and VRAN. So as we cloudify all of these technologies, we also need to retrain and reskill our workforce. And I'm seeing many operators begin to look at that now. So they need to plan, they need to train, and they need to reskill their workforce. So they're going to be able to operate this network moving forward. Anil, picking up on comments that Ben made, do you see operational workloads at the far edge changing the way in which service providers operate? Yes, absolutely. I mean, um, uh, what operators are realizing is that the way they had organized their teams uh, so far, where they had uh, 
IT team and network operations teams working in silos, they need to change that. Uh, IT teams are comfort more comfortable with cloud technologies, uh, whereas operations teams are more focused on radio or have been comfortable with radio and uh, uh, core applications. So uh, operators are seeing that they, they get tremendous benefits by moving to cloud uh, with the platform centric approach. And that's where now they are bringing synergies between these two teams, uh, if I may put it that way. And what are your views on VRAN economics and the new total cost of ownership value proposition for telcos? So Open VRAN brings uh, tremendous uh, TCO benefits, and this has been proven through uh, deployments that have uh, happened, commercial deployments like Rakuten. Uh, the other day, uh, Rakuten CTO uh, uh, stated that uh, Open VRAN brings 40% uh, reduction in CapEx and almost 30% reduction, reduction in OpEx. Um, uh, specifically uh, uh, with, with Open VRAN, um, operators get choice uh, through unbundling. They, they have the choice of now procuring hardware from best of the breed vendors. Um, they, 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 they get um, software uh, uh, licenses and software pricing, which is simplified in nature. You don't have hidden costs. Um, the, the, there is uh, automatic hardware price reduction because of Moore's law. And so on. So, so multiple benefits on the capex side. Uh, there is no forklift, forklift upgrades that are required as you move from one technology to other other uh, technology. Let's say 4G to 5G. Um, coming on to the opex side, uh, again, uh, Open VRAN uh, technology brings uh, tremendous benefits. Uh, where with the cloud, you get benefit of automation. Um, uh, you you have benefits of higher Availability, if you have VDUs deployed in edge cloud, um, in the traditional RAN scenario, if there is a failure of the baseband unit, you have to send somebody to the site and change it. But with VDUs deployed in edge cloud, the recovery is automatic. Uh, we have implemented uh, use cases like self-healing where operator does not have to even intervene. And uh, uh, if there is any problem, uh, the system recovers on its own. So at the end of the day, I mean, all this helps in reducing the uh, number of employees that you require for operations and overall brings down OPEX uh, significantly and improves the reliability. Well, Anil and Ben, thank you both very much indeed for outlining your, your collaborative work on VRAN and we look forward to um, hearing more as, as, uh, as the months progress. Thank you very much for joining us on the program today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.